Be very afraid. We are doing this really cool event here um, off of Galliano Island. It's a pirate race, I don't really know much about it yet, but already we have some costumes, some really weird props for a performance we're supposed to do tomorrow night at the potluck, so it's super fun. And I have my Gunnel Gals West Coast here with me on uh, my dad's Hughes 31 Oracle, and it's really awesome to be sailing with them. We came a night early because we wanted to hang out and have appies um, and watch the sunset. Holy moly, I got recruited to uh, make um, skulls. What the heck? They've entrusted me in writing on it. Alright, I had to invent my own font because CEO did actually confirm that it was CaptainGalliano.com. But no, everybody, it's CaptainGalliano at gmail.com. Oops. <laughs> to do the dot com part now. What's wrong with you? You look so skinny. It does fade out fast. It's working. I'm the only one who couldn't find a white shirt. Unbelievable. I don't look that sexy. <laughs> okay, so, so two of you can let go. Um, hang on, if it doesn't go, do we have line? All right, we're heading to Shell Beach. So we're leaving the uh, this area where we were anchored and um, Skipper's meeting is on Shell Beach. Yeah. On our pocket rocket. I'm picking up good vibrations. She's giving me good vibes and she's just good, 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 good vibrations. And they're heading off, so we should head off. What do men, what do men so wear under their kilt? Under his kilt. How about you, buddy? If you're Canadian. I'm just, I'm just a little pirate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here on the easy. show. And I just don't want to go to show. There's all them scary yeah. pirates, so I'll, I'll think about it yeah. tomorrow. Are those, yeah. are those butt pirates? are so scary. <laughs> He's the one who should be afraid of the butt pirates. Look at him. Mar pirate marm. <laughs> Not very pirate. These nice uh, little. Oh well. Please take with the pole. Uh, Sarah? Mm-hmm. Okay, now onto the mast. Okay. No, not. They were gonna pre-feed the guy now. They stole our ducky. No, they got our ducky. I like your ambition though. We had trouble at stake there. I am the ringer. I am the gnarly musket. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want this person on your foredeck? Hey. Oh, oh, we're coming in the wind. Okay, I'll just Are we tacking? Okay. Are we tacking? I'll just be prepared. We'll see what it's doing. Let's tack and get a bit of power yeah. and then we'll come okay. back. Coming around. Rolling, rolling. Yeah. Um, Gwenny, we'll get your weight over here. Three, Not yet. Three, two, one. And I have my weight across. Well, Naomi. Video, so you look like statues. Okay, we are definitely getting closer, and in a dead spot, we could get it. Get their ducky. Okay, now we have to go to shore and follow the rules that are in the instructions. We're gonna go to about 15 feet and drop the anchor. Should I have the other paddles ready? Well, good thing we're here early because uh, there's a big debate on our strategy. Now I look like a clown. Now I look like <laughs> hey, everybody, you I'm look Chad. Like you're the I'm Chad. Chad. <laughs> hey. Where's the treasure? Simone! <laughs> the pirate of many, many talents! 
Uh oh, they're gonna Oh there, I see the block of foam! That wasn't our block. He's the one that's telling us to get off the property. Oh my God, he's just standing there. Oh, let's go she totally transitioned. Yeah, let's just that was baldy, and she just. Let's chill. Does it look okay. like my boat's moving? Seriously, snack. Like I think we should no go carbs though, but like, like have wine. some snack. Yeah, we'll have some wine. Yeah, yeah. And just like. <laughs> We're gonna. Okay, I totally decoyed them. Get it, decoyed. <laughs> you did. I'm Sarah Grabbit. On the paddleboard. <laughs> that was good strategy. That they are going to argue probably that it wasn't fair because they were in the middle of anchoring, but their anchor was still way up on their deck. I watched them. Sails were down, and, then they, and they were, were just drifting. And they were motoring away. And they were under motor. Dim. Another one bites the dust. Dim. Another one bites the dust. Look, it's pink. Incontinent. Coming home, it says. Okay, take it. Sweet. Oh, she got another one. She's we're poaching. That's kind of a benefit to get here she's early. Good. They just, they just think she's just a cute, sexy, hot uh, yeah, like paddleboarder. Got two duckies. Into the mystic. <laughs> is she gonna go for someone else now? Where is she going? I don't know. I know. I lost track. Your crew. They're doing their thing. Oh, you're all Are by you yourself. Sure? We might have to come and help you. You were taken out of the mystic. Into the deep blue sea. Her severed heads. She's trying to meet with her boys. Uh oh, what's he? He's not allowed to steal our stuff yet. You guys ran away! <laughs> we want our duck back! We want a challenge! Okay, we have two duckies, but as soon as we put our sails up, they can go come after the one that we um, hang off the end for us. Stealthfully leave, but it, the wind is almost none. Actually, we're getting a little puff right there. I'm so hungry. I had to stop and eat. Come and get them. Okay, the wind is picking up, and we do have I a ducky had, still. I had a fabulous idea, but I'm not going to do it. Okay. I would go underneath the catamaran, Indiana Jones style, like that, slide underneath. I'm not. But grab. But that would be a great movie scene. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, it would be. But I'm not. But I'm no, good. we're not. That would be good. All right. We think maybe we scared off that trimaran, but uh, not sure. Oh uh, yeah, they're coming back. No, they're not. I think back? we freaked out that skipper. Like we cut him right off, and he was like, "What do I do? What do I do?" Oh yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Go go go, Sarah! Go! <laughs> she got it. Hello. That is mine now. Yep. Oh my god. Sarah jumped in the water. She's gonna get tagged! Tag! Tag! She got she tagged. Oh no, they're trying to figure out the rules. Who gets it? a little truce with the trimaran after that epic steal and we've made a little uh, a little deal with them that involves a an onshore challenge and uh, you'll see hopefully it works out I am the last pilot standing no one else has their costume on okay except for James actually and then my good friend I mean, you want to talk about a cruise 
that pulled it together against adversity. And see in the tie of a duck. So I bet you no one else here used paper charts today. Any other votes nominated for ruthlessness? Come on! Seriously, people, skippers only. And helms. Or no, no, that's. Lucky hull. Nelly musket. And I'm Captain Scully Lush. Take it away. Scantly clad. Oh, that's Thank you. Know. 
Get it over quick. Okay, I really have to pee, so I kind of have to go to the water. <laughs> you know what you want to do? Okay, this challenge was actually completely staged because I was forbidden by my crew to actually participate in it because they thought it was too dangerous. So we created another challenge where the organizers took a word, scrambled the letters, and whoever figured out the word first, they won. And guess what? We won! For its contents will get you into deep trouble. <laughs> Tonight, we have had a repeat of the trophy having been left aside while all other eyes were cast in another direction. So please be careful with the contents of this esteemed trophy. There you go! If you are the keepers of the trophy, Oh, the mystery! And if you do not gain the right to open the trophy, you are the esteemed keepers of its contents for one year, at which time it must return forthwith to the dock for presentation to the next keeper of the trophy. passage to find the hand of Franklin reaching for the Beaufort Sea, tracing one warm line through a land so wild and savage to make the Northwest Passage to the sea. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold. We'd fire no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last affair is privateers. 